Hello and welcome to Shopify Dropshipping Store Development Beginners to Experts. In this lecture, we will add mainly a product to our Shopify store without overload. So here, once you will, the product will click on Add Product, and here we will write demo. For that, we will see all the options. All we have to do in creating. Like here, you can give the title, and then in the description, you can give the description. You can also put some media in the description, but you are it's better to put the media in the media section. So here, uh, you can make it active, and here you can select and deselect different sale channels where you want to sell your products, and here on add media, you can select. Product image like this in the media, and from here you can also add from URL. Okay, we are adding two products here, images here. After this, you can give a type like uh, we are getting jewelry, so we will search for jewelry. Okay, here you can give. It and then in the vendor you can select your store name as a vendor and the collections you can put it up in some collections here manually and here is a tag section uh, how you can create tag why tags are important because here you see i will write um, best best tag to this product okay this tag is created and added to this menu product we are creating right we will see its use later uh, these are very useful while creating automatic collections so you can make a condition in collection like automatic and then product tags and in the tags you can just write the one tag if you have given this tag to thousands of products and all the products with this tag will be in your that collection so this is very useful Ooh. For creating automatic collections with tags given to the product. So here is a price. You would write 100 rupees and compare it price. Um, it can be greater than the price like 160. So this 160 will be crossed and you will see this price here. And if you want to charge tax, tax are always chargeable in countries where tax are applied on your product. So you can select this. And then cost per item, you can make it like uh, 60 because uh, it won't be shown to your customers on the store. So this will be for our own purposes. Like if you have some marginal profit, you can easily calculate it after sales on your store. And in the inventory, you can select a college here, location, like if it is from a well or from your own local store. And in SKU, it is very important. Like stock keeping unit you can make it blue color large and then you can make it zero one so this is a unique sku for your product you can also give barcodes and you can also track quantity continue selling when out of stock you can make it like uh, if you wanna get sales without stock in your warehouse and check this out and also quantity here you can put up the quantity like uh, we are going with 100 products at the beginning and this is a physical product and if it has some weight like one or like 500 grams of kg you can select grams you can select pounds ounce kilograms and grams and then country region of origin you can select from here united states you can select united states from here and then our harmonized system is what harmonized system is uh, used on borders on airports or custom clearance code provided by authorities there at your customs and then option this product has options like size or color if this is checked you can give different variants like 
here you see size and then values like small you can put another value like medium and you can put another value like large and also you can you know, make other options like style classic hero etc so uh, we have created one two three four five variants with two different uh, options we'll click on done then these are options available and you see we have created five and five multiplied by uh, so two and three two into three six so we have one two three four five six collections oh sorry product variants are available now you can also make quantity for each variant like how many variants you have like we have your 100 then we can not make them as the 100 the different variants so at the end you'll see this meta field this is also very important we'll see it later while uh, talking in the product section in the theme customization section when all meta fields are important while creating dynamic descriptions in your product description section so we have entered all these things for manual product once we click save boom our product has been saved now created so application you can view your product on your store still saying this is not product store we will uh, do customization and theme we have installed at the beginning and the next lecture then you will see a better look of this right here you see this is how product image is showing like here you see thumbnails here we have some product description the collapsible tabs some previous options like this we'll be setting up all these custom thing customization in the next lectures so here how we can create a manual product in our store thanks for watching